50 power prayers against the Queen of the Coast and Marine Powers. Almighty Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus, declaring your sovereignty over all creation. By the authority of Jesus Christ, we bind and cast out every marine spirit operating in our lives. Lord, you are our rock and our fortress. Deliver us from the hand of the Queen of the Coast. Psalm 18, verse 2. In the name of Jesus, we sever every soul tie with marine spirits and the Queen of the Coast. Father, let your fire consume every altar raised by marine powers against us. By the blood of Jesus, we break every covenant made with marine spirits knowingly or unknowingly. We declare that no weapon formed against us by marine powers shall prosper. Isaiah 54, 17. In the name of Jesus, we cancel every dream of marine wedding and covenant. Father, let your thunder strike every water spirit hiding in our destiny. We plead the blood of Jesus over every water body connected to our ancestry. Lord, rebuke the Queen of the Coast and all her agents in our lives. We release the fire of God to burn every marine kingdom structure in our lives. By the blood of Jesus, we nullify every marine power's influence over our finances. Lord, expose and destroy every marine spirit disguising as a helper. Father, we command the waters to vomit every blessing stolen by marine spirits. In the name of Jesus, we break every curse of Leviathan and the Queen of the Coast over our lives. Lord, let your sword pierce through the heart of Leviathan, Job 41, 1. By the authority in Jesus' name, we trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, Luke 10, 19. Father, deliver us from every marine spirit manipulating our relationships. We declare freedom from the bondage of the Queen of the Coast by the power in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we break the chains of marine witchcraft over our lives. Lord, let your light shine into every dark area controlled by marine spirits. Father, send your angels to war against every marine power attacking our destiny. We declare that we are seated in heavenly places with Christ, far above all principalities and powers. Ephesians 2, 6. In the name of Jesus, we command every marine spirit to release our health. Father, we cover our homes with the blood of Jesus against any marine invasion. Lord, arise and scatter every marine conspiracy against our breakthrough. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we declare total freedom from the influence of marine spirits. In the name of Jesus, we break every marine spirit's hold on our minds and emotions. Father, um, release your consuming fire to destroy every marine kingdom plan against our families. We declare that the Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want, and marine spirits shall have no power over us. Psalm 23, 1. Lord, let your living water cleanse us from every marine contamination. In the name of Jesus, we command every marine spirit to release our careers and progress. Father, deliver us from the entanglement of marine spirits and set us free. Lord, let your angels encamp around us and protect us from marine attacks. Psalm 34, 7. By the blood of Jesus, we overcome every power of the Queen of the Coast. Father, release your lightning to scatter the plans of marine spirits against us. In the name of Jesus, we break every marine curse affecting our spiritual growth. Lord, you are our deliverer. Set us free from the chains of marine powers. By the authority in Jesus' name, we command every marine serpent to be consumed by fire. Father, let your mighty hand break every yoke of marine bondage in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we command every marine spirit to release our marriages and relationships. Lord, let your truth expose every lie of the Queen of the Coast in our lives. Father, by your power, silence every marine voice speaking against our destiny. In the name of Jesus, we dismantle every marine network operating against us. Lord, let your power break every chain of marine oppression in our lives. Father, fill us with your Holy Spirit and empower us to stand against marine powers. In the name of Jesus, we command every marine spirit to release our peace and joy. Lord, let your presence drive out every marine spirit from our environment. Father, by the blood of Jesus, we nullify every marine spell cast over our lives. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we are free from every marine entanglement. Lord, let your grace be sufficient for us in every battle against marine spirits. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Father, release your healing power to restore everything damaged by marine powers. In the name of Jesus, we declare that the gates of hell shall not prevail against us, Matthew 16, 18. 
Lord, send your angels to contend with every marine spirit contending with us. Father, let your glory fill our lives and expel every marine darkness. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we are victorious over Leviathan and all marine spirits. Lord, let your word be a shield and buckler against every marine attack. Psalm 91, 4. Father, we stand on your promise that no evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling. Psalm 91, 10. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we are more than conquerors over the Queen of the Coast and marine powers. Romans 8, 37. All these prayer points we pray and believe in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. A Biblical Case for Marine Spirits as Part of the Kingdom of Darkness The concept of marine spirits, particularly within the context of the Kingdom of Darkness, finds its roots in various biblical passages and interpretations. These spirits, often associated with water bodies, can be seen as part of the broader spectrum of demonic entities that oppose God's kingdom. The Bible, while not explicitly mentioning marine spirits, provides a framework that supports their existence and influence. For instance, in Job 41, we encounter Leviathan, a powerful sea creature described with fearsome attributes. This creature is often interpreted as a symbol of chaos and evil, representing the malevolent forces in the spiritual realm. God's discourse on Leviathan highlights its indomitable nature, making it a fitting representation of a marine spirit that aligns with the kingdom of darkness. Further, the New Testament gives us insights into the demonic realm's interaction with water. In Mark 5, 1 to 13, Jesus encounters a man possessed by a legion of demons. When Jesus casts out these demons, they beg to enter a herd of pigs, which then rush into the sea and drown. This incident suggests a connection between demonic forces and water, reinforcing the idea that marine environments can be significant in the activity of evil spirits. Psalm 74, 13 to 14 also speaks of God breaking the heads of sea monsters in the waters, and Isaiah 27, 1 refers to the Lord punishing Leviathan, the fleeing serpent, and the dragon in the sea. These passages further depict the sea as a realm of powerful and chaotic forces, often interpreted as demonic entities opposing God's order and peace. Revelation 13.1 introduces a beast rising out of the sea, symbolizing a formidable force of evil that emerges from the waters. This imagery supports the notion that the sea can be a domain where dark powers manifest, aligning with the broader biblical narrative of spiritual warfare. Moreover, the ancient Near Eastern context of the Bible frequently associated the sea with chaos and evil, contrasting it with the divine order established by God. This cultural backdrop helps us understand the biblical symbolism of water as a realm where demonic forces can operate. In conclusion, while the Bible does not explicitly use the term marine spirits, various passages and symbols strongly suggest the existence of demonic entities associated with water, from Leviathan to the demonic encounter involving swine and the apocalyptic beast from the sea. The scriptural narrative supports the concept of marine spirits as integral components of the kingdom of darkness, perpetually at odds with God's sovereign rule and the ultimate triumph of his kingdom.